Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to your July 2021 monthly reading. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Please do note that it is a general reading, so you will need to use your discernment to determine what is meant for you, what is meant to be left behind for someone else. Never try to think, make anything fit that just does not. And if you so feel inclined, please check your Moon, Rising, Venus signs for you or your counterpart. If you are unsure, unaware of what those are, there is a link in the description box down below this video that can help you suss out that information. For all other important information, including how to connect with me on social media and my personal website for inquiring about personal readings, all that information can also be found in the description box down below. All right, my beautiful Scorpios, I hope all of you are doing well and enjoying the season. You're going to go ahead and start your reading by pulling a couple of spirit guide messages, and then we'll get into the tarot spread and end with some oracle cards. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, what do we have? Thank you. For my beautiful Scorpios, at this time, please show me clearly, precisely, accurately, best messages, advice, and guidance coming through for Scorpio. Okay. All right, so you guys have quite a few messages coming through. We have soul power. Always remember you're a soul that comes with a body, not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is your true essence and you have unlimited supply of, of soul power at your command whenever you need it. We have nature. This is a time to absorb the healing property that nature has to offer. Your mind, body, and soul need nourishment, energy, revitalization, and strength. Nature has much to offer, so take some time to connect and spend some quality time outdoors. We have be proud. It's time to celebrate all that you have achieved, all that you are, and all that you will become. Every once in a while, it's important to stop and acknowledge what you have achieved and to be proud. And then we have hello from heaven. Your loved ones in the spirit world want, you, want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They know you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show you how much they love you. To prove they are with you at this time. So if some of you have been asking for a sign, that is a very good one. This, this answering saying hello back to you. Pay attention to dragonflies, butterflies, feathers, and pennies at this time, especially in your travels. If you mysteriously happen to come upon them, know that is a sign of synchronicity from your loved one, letting you know that they are there with you. And then we have memories. Your memories are like diamonds in the treasure spirit, treasure chest of your spirit. More and more memories are arising within you. Remember the happier moments with your loved ones who are here in the spirit world. For neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another. Love transcends. That's one thing to always remember. Love transcends, and it never goes away. It gets stronger in the spiritual world. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look, Scorpio, at your tarot spread and see what's going on for you guys for the month of July. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, let's take a look at my beautiful Scorpios for July 2021, that's messages, advice, and guidance coming through for my Scorpio Collective. What do they most need to hear at this time? Please show me clearly, precisely, and accurately. That's messages, advice, and guidance, please. Thank you. All right, so we have the Nine of Swords being crossed by the Page of Pentacles in the heart of the matter. Some of you... Now remember, Scorpio, this could be you, or this could be your divine counterpart, or the girl counterpart, whoever you're acquiring about during this reading. So someone here is very much in their head. Nine of Swords is mental anguish. This is somebody who is reviewing all of their choices, the coulda, woulda, shouldas in a situation. Breaking it down, focusing on each and every little thing that happened, trying to pinpoint the precise moment where things went off track, where things went wrong. This is a mentally exhausting energy to no benefit. So someone here is very much in their head 
anguishing over trying to decide whether or not to either accept an opportunity or extend an opportunity. This could be a love message. This could be a job opportunity. For all of you, it's going to represent different things, but there is a small but tangible opportunity being presented here, whether you're the one presenting it or it's being presented to you. All right, in the distant past, this could be last week, last month, last year, two years ago, five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. It's going to be different for all of you because all of you are on different timelines. We have the King of Cups showing up here. So you could have been connecting with a significant water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You are Scorpio, so it could be another, another, another water sign. Um, but here is the King of Cups. This tells me there was a well, a deep well of emotion. There was lots of unconditional love here uh, for a situation, whether this is you, Scorpio, with unconditional love that you may have not been expressing very clearly. Um, or this could be somebody who had these deep feelings for you. In the recent past, we have the moon. So there's a lot of fears, Cancer, Pisces, energy showing up with the moon. Very well could be you as well, Scorpio, but there's a lot of fears. This is our subconscious mind. This is with our things that are, are, are hidden, our hidden agendas, the things that we hide from other people, our, self, our, our insecurities, our self-doubts. What is crowding this is the Seven of Wands. So this is definitely an energy of protectiveness, of being guarded, of trying to overcome situations future energy moving in. We have the devil. Some of you may be connecting with the Capricorn, but we'll take a closer look at that in just a moment. So you're in the seven of swords energy. So be careful of self-sabotage at this time, but I feel like this is you being guarded because there's been lies, manipulation, pain, deception in your life. Outside influences to you is two of pentacles, somebody who has unstable, unbalanced, has yet not got a clue or a grip on what they want to do. There's some type of instability there. Hopes and fears, we have the hanged man. Things not moving, things not changing, kind of standing still, not taking any action or movement in any direction. Possible energy coming in, possible outcome here is the page of cups, an offer in love, an expression of love or apology. Overall energy here is many choices, emotional overwhelm, and confusion. Subconsciously, you're facing the empress. Uh, this is a beautiful energy. So this is, you know, maybe without but you know this is beyond your your conscious mind you are in the in the position of creation of uh a flow of abundance i love it all right so if somebody here has something that they want some action they want to take or something that they very much want to communicate here with the knight of swords some quick action all right so spirit guides angels ancestors let's clarify the cards on the table for my beautiful scorpios Please bring forth only the messages of that are in their best interest and goodwill. Please make them clear, precise, and accurate. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors of the light. Let's start with this page of pentacles and the nine of swords in the heart of the matter. What's going on here for my Scorpios? What's going on with this nine of swords in the page of pentacles? Thank you. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Scorpio, this is definitely coming through as your energy for a lot of you with a death card at the bottom of the deck. All right. So what we are getting with this is we're getting justice, the queen of wands and the five of cups. So I do feel like some of you, this is, I feel that you want to move forward and really go after what you want with the queen of wands. The queen of wands takes no prisoners. There's no hold back. The Queen of Wands is this magnetic, passionate, fiery, intelligent, well-spoken individual who knows what she wants and is not afraid to go get it. No prisoners, no hold backs. The Queen of Wands is the person that will achieve. They are a master manifester. They will get what they, what, what they believe is theirs. Uh, I feel like you are weighing the pros and cons in the situation. This is what you're mentally stressed up out about with the five of cups this tells me there was a lot of pain a lot of loss a lot of regret in your past that is kind of holding you back this is that mental inner energy mental anguish that we are looking at there's an opportunity that you want to go after that you want to achieve that you want to seize but at the same time there is fear 
of repeated patterns that is holding you back from, from grasping what it is that you want. Now, again, could be your person, but I feel for a lot of you, this is you. All right, so let's take a look at this King of Cups in the distant past. What's going on with my Scorpios with this King of Cups, please? All right, so we got Six of Pentacles. We've got the Chariot. One more, please, on that. Thank you. And the Eight of Pentacles. King of Swords showing up here as well. Air Energy, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Okay, so my beautiful Scorpios, what is going on here with the Six of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Card of Cancer, and the Eight of Pentacles? Again, Scorpio, I feel like this is a lot about you. This could be you and another person, specifically. Uh, I do feel like you tried to do right in this situation. I think you tried to do what was right and the best of everybody. I think you really put a lot of effort and energy and attention to, to this situation, whether this is a job or a relationship. You wanted to move forward. You wanted to move in alignment. To You wanted to work in, in harmony with another person. However, what I'm picking up on, yeah. This, some of you, this could have been a marriage. Some of you, this could have been long-term commitment. This would be a family situation uh, for others of you. I feel like there was this instability, this imbalance, this person that was not able to commit fully to the connection. I feel one of you, and I feel like it was you, Scorpio, gave more to the connection than the other person. You try to even fill the voids, I'm being told, that was left behind for the other person to try to make up for, for where they were lacking. So you try to carry the entire relationship pretty much on your back. All right, so let's see this moon. Why is the moon here for recent past for my Scorpios? Please show me clearly, precisely, accurately. With the Lovers Gemini energy, we got, again, the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and then we have King of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. The, I, I feel in this situation, with the, with the moon as the soul energy here, there was a lot of fear there when it came to love and making decisions regarding love because there was a sense of distrust. I don't, I feel like this is you your energy here, Scorpio, from some of the energy else that I've picked up with this King of Cups and the King of Pentacles, they're like in one aspect. I feel that you were hiding how the, the fear, the the doubt, the maybe even self-criticism that you were putting yourself under because of past situations, possibly with an air sign. Um, you weren't really showing or communicating how you were truly feeling. It was concealed. Not even the people closest to you really knew the depth of your feelings. I do again feel with the with the night with the king, excuse me, of swords that you were trying very much to make the right decision, to take the right action for everybody involved. Um, but in doing so, you were concealing how the choices were making you feel. which kind of lead us to the hidden energy here of the seven of wands. Uh, this was a defensive energy. This was kind of like you had to put up your guard. You were tired and you were exhausted, but you kept on pushing forward. You felt you had lost, you had a heartbreak, you had pain. And for a lot of you, you end up walking away from the situation. All right, so what do we have here, please, with the seven of wands crowning this? I'm this reading why is the seven of wands here for scorpio sun moon rising venus why is the seven of wands here please show me clearly precisely accurately
Seven of Wands for Scorpio, please. Five of Pentacles coming back through. The world. One more, please, for Scorpio. The Three of Wands. Yeah. <clears throat> so, you got the Five of Pentacles speaks to loss, rejection, feeling left out in the cold, abandonment. The world is indicating of a tough, hard cycle coming to a completion. And you looking forward with the Three of Wands, waiting for your ships to come in, patiently waiting for things to fall into place. I feel like you've, you have to experience, again, a lot of heartbreak and pain and betrayal when it comes to love and loving situations, especially for those of you that were pouring everything you had into a connection, not even to be met halfway. Um, I see temperance, Sagittarian energy coming in here. Telling me there is a there is a sense of connect needing to or connecting in with yourself to bring yourself into balance to bring healing to this this three of swords. This isn't why you're in the seven of wands. This is why the defensive energy is up there. You felt the abandonment. You felt it lost. You felt the pain. But spirit is kind of reminding you with the world card that that cycle is over. It's okay to lay down your wands. You've learned your lessons. You've made the achievement. You've overcome the situation. The battle is over. Um, it's time to stand down is what I'm being told. And now look towards the future. Your ships, because of how hard you fought for yourself, how hard you stood the ground, how hard you tried to make every situation work, your ship is coming in. Your blessings, your abundance is coming to you. All right. So spirit guides, angels, and sisters, what is this devil card coming in? For future energy, please, for my beautiful Scorpios at this time. What is this double energy? What is this double energy? The devil can enter can mean so many different aspects. I would like to get a clarifier before we go in any direction on that. Why is the devil here, please? Mm, okay. All right, so you're dealing with somebody who is narcissistic in nature, toxic. They were full with sabotage. They were somebody who was, you know, constantly concerned about themselves, what was going to make them happy, not concerned about others in the situation. Yeah, and this is what needs to be healed. This is what needs to be healed. Knight of Swords. And this is something what needs, yeah. Final judgment's coming in on this person. Scorpio, you're making a final judgment. So that you can move forward towards healing. Um, again, you're dealing with somebody who was, you know, toxic in nature, um, could have had addictions, obsessions, overindulging, indulging in issues. Definitely somebody who was very, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Was very manipulative, but very so self-focused. Right. Uh, the only person that mattered was them. What made them happy, what they wanted to achieve, their goals, their aspirations. This, they would do anything to get ahead to achieve what they want um, and step on anybody in the process. This is that energy of the person that I feel that a lot of you are dealing with. This person's also prone to self-sabotaging. So the somebody, you know, things could be going great and for out of nowhere, out of the blue, they're just, they, they do something to sabotage themselves. Um, I, you have to understand that when, when you're dealing with somebody in this energy, there there is no way to balance things out. There's nothing that you could do or give that would change the person. The person has to change themselves. And I feel like this is kind of the, the acknowledgement that you guys are coming into, the realization that you have this great, strong power within and that you can heal and bring balance and, and restore yourself in order to move on. Um, there may be a communication with this person, okay? And I feel like if there is, you're really going to be in control of the situation. You're not going to allow your emotions to overrun it. I think when you speak, you're going to speak very frankly and very clearly and straight to the point. You'll be careful that your words may be cutting. Um, with the Knight of Swords, they are definitely very frank. And I feel like for a lot of you, you're going to be communicating with that Nine of you know Queen of Pentacles that you're solid, you're abundant, you're doing everything that you need to. You know, this is that counterpart here. Um, to be okay, that you don't really need anyone or need anything, that you're self-reliant. Yeah, you're going to be a little bit, yeah, cutting with those with those words and those, with the Queen of Swords, again, communicating with the 
with a water sign there. All right, so let's see the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords showing up as my Scorpio's energy, please? Four of Cups. What else can you tell me? The Hermit Virgo energy. And the Devil. Yeah, you see, I love this. Okay. So I feel like for a lot of lunch time, you guys, you know, you're dealing with somebody that, you know, here we go. If I, you know, five and seven swords are not that far apart energetically, deceptions, lies, manipulations, half truths, sneaking around, self-sabotage, sabotaging others, you know, that the card of the sneak and the devil energy is right there with that Capricorn energy, but not saying that Capricorn is, you know, devilish in any, any, any way. I love my Capricorns, but this is the energy that's coming through overindulgence, addiction, toxic patterns and behaviors. And the person that we are, when I'm, when I'm seeing this, this is definitely toxic in nature. And I feel like for a while, this is what you were focused on. This is what you had. This You are definitely in a place of discontentment and unhappiness, but you've gone within. I do feel like you took a step back. You've gotten enlightenment. You're tapped in, tuned in. You're gaining wisdom here. You're seeing things with truth and clarity. So that you can move forward you can communicate your needs your wants and i do feel like you're going to passionately communicate this very clearly um but you're getting out the clarity and the wisdom for a truthful new beginning all right so let's see let's see this two of pentacles the instability the person who's half in half out can't find the right footing here why this is two of pentacles outside influences to my beautiful scorpios Knight of Wands. So this is going to be somebody who um, is very, very quick moving, very easily distracted, prone to grandiose shows of affections or grandiose gestures without them being completely thought through so they can blow up easily in the person's face. This is a kind of an unstable in and out, can hold me down, play boy, play girl kind of energy of a tarot. So a lot of instability and a lot of imbalance in this person's behalf. They are very passionate when they when, when they communicate that. There is a yeah yeah. There's a there's a lot of you know people are drawn to that energy because they're the life of the party. They're charismatic in nature. Yeah. Hanged man. So this person. Again, very prone to um, inconsistent energies, instability. They don't have a solid foundation with this tower. They may be coming to realization and epiphanies of what they had with you, the happiness they had for you, and how they've messed it up. Um, the hanged man. Even though they're going through all this, they're realizing all this, I don't think they're going to take any true action. Oh. Okay. So some of them may communicate with you. This is me. They may be the one coming in with the offer of apology, offering something small, something, you know, not grandiose, but something small. And I do feel like it could be a very big romantic gesture for some of you. Very, very loud, very sweet whisperings in your ears. Um, be careful because I'm seeing the King of Wands here. And usually, for me, I, I'm, di I'm different than the other readers. I don't think that the King of Wands is always real bad energy. King of Wands goes after what they want. They know what they want. And they am just like the Queen of Wands. Nothing's going to hold them back from getting it. But in this case, with the energies that I have already felt with this person, I feel in this case you need to be worried a little bit, very cautious when it comes to this individual because they are after what they want indeed. And what they want is very, you know, is, is lustral. It is sexual and it is not lasting. Don't don't let this person I feel may confuse love with lust. All right, so what do we have for the hanged man, please? Okay, so I'm hearing some of my Scorpios are feeling are fearful of getting caught up again, hung up with this person. Yeah. 
You guys want something new. Six of Cups. You want to return to a point in your life where things were happy. Some of you may have children. Um, this can be the card of children. This could be alignment with soulmates for some of you. But a lot of you, you're definitely wanting stability, long-term happiness, something passionate to look forward to, to move forward to, new, new, new beginnings. You're manifesting the crap out of that. And this is what you truly want. Your hope is to move on, move past, move into these beautiful energies and leave the conflict. Leave the feelings of betrayal behind. Allow things to end because that needed to end. All right. So let's see this page of cups coming in. That's a possible conclusion or new energy moving into the situation. What is this page of cups for my Scorpios? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that card because that, that just told me what I needed to know. I kind of felt that. Yeah. Three of swords. So some of you are gonna have somebody who walked away that's gonna come back and they're gonna apologize. Okay. Some of you, there's, there will be a reconciliation. There'll be joy. There'll be excitement. There'll be celebration. <laughs> For others of you, especially with this toxic individual, this person is really stuck. Okay? They're still stuck in their ways about how things ended, how you walked away, um, how they've been left, left behind. They're not, they're, they're still focused on this. Okay? There's a lot of fear and hidden emotions and agendas behind all of this, behind this offer coming to you. Some of you, they even have a third party. I'm um, feeling that. Look, I'm feeling that very deeply. They're going to want to skip over the skip over the hard times. They're going to want to go straight to so joy, reconciliation, joy, bliss, and, and, and having a great time. This person may have an alcohol problem for some of you. But at the end of the day with this page of cups, they are coming in because they don't like the fact that you are starting to move on and move past them. Some of you are going to block this person and because you've got clarity on what, what's going to truly bring you abundance in your life. Some of you are going to take them back and the other of you, you're going to to move on past this. All right. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, let's take a look at my beautiful Scorpios for the month of July 2021 in love and romance. What do we have going on for my beautiful Scorpios? Please show me clearly, precisely, accurately. That's the messages, advice, and guidance for Scorpio. The messages do you have for my Scorpios? Please show me clearly. All right. That one was one. What do we have for Scorpio, please? That's two. Three. Four. Okay. All right. So we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Career and, fi career and finances. Financial issues are a factor in your love life. They could have had a gambling addiction. You could have worked with this person. Money could have been a focus of this relationship that caused problems. Yeah. And, yeah, there, there is the key. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry in this relationship to keep it going. Like I told you, this person is more about carnal needs versus long-term needs. And they were reminding you here that you are lovable. I'm definitely getting pulled into Sagittarius. Some of you may be honestly connecting with the Sagittarius very strongly. All right. And let's pull a couple of divine doors as your party messages. All right. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, what messages, advice, and guidance do we have for my beautiful Scorpios at this time? Please show me clearly, precisely, accurately. What messages, advice, and guidance do we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for July 2021, please? Show me clearly, precisely, accurately. Thank you. All right. 
offerings, abundance lies in the heart that allows share more than expected and see love come around. Share how you truly feel. How a situation has honestly made you feel. Don't be afraid to speak your honest truth. Worry not about someone's feelings. Don't worry about other people getting hurt by you expressing your truth. By sharing your truth, abundance will be yours. We have the sacred lotus. Compassion and action, the chosen tool. I see now the lotus in your spirit's jewel. Speak your truth. Use it with use compassion when doing so. Morning memory. Its healing gifts run a destined course. The morning dawn, our inspired source. Meditate under the sun. There you go. You may have a memory that is going to come the front and focus for you. And freedom flows. Don't hold yourself back from worldly freedom. Dream grand things for divine sacred reason. All right, my beautiful Scorpios, that is the conclusion of your reading at this time. Please let me know in the comments down below if this resonated with you. Be sure to smash that like button. It helps this video circulate for all. If you have not yet done so, please subscribe. We would love to have you part of the Cassarian Soul family. Remember to live in light and love, not just today, but every day. Namaste. Bye for now.